We're going to change it up. Now for something completely different. Um, we we kind of said uh, at Looker a few weeks ago, uh, let's do a hack day. We kind of do those from time to time. And let's see what, what you guys could do in, in you know, the engineering team around building stuff on the API. But the requirement was you couldn't do anything weird that you couldn't, you know, you were doing special Looker stuff. You had to be through the API and, and integrated into other things. So, so Will Giesler, who's one of our, our great engineers, uh, came up with something. He said, hey, you know, I think I'll have this ready for join. Why don't we show it? And we know this is a little weird, uh, but we're going to show it anyway because it's kind of fun. But you'll get the idea of what you can do with the API. So behind the curtain, the wizard, we need lights, is Will. Wow. <laughs> all right. I'm going to look like a big dummy in front of all of you, so just get ready for that. I'm going to put this guy on. All right. Um, so we want to build something really interesting and weird on the platform and on our APIs. So this is Look VR, or I call it LookVer. Um, and so unlike most BI tools, uh, I'm here in this retro-futuristic sci-fi landscape, which is like a little bit more fun than a web browser. Um, and I can access Looker. So let me load up a chart for you. And here, here's one now. Um, <laughs> So in VR, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have data tables. So instead, we have data tables. Um, so this is a table that I can walk around. Uh, if you've never used VR before, this, this feels like an actual table, which is very weird. Um, and I can, I, can, I can look at this kind of from any angle. This is showing um, the Olympics, uh, like basically or the years of the Olympics and then kind of the the sports in the Olympics. And I can also do fun stuff, like I can make it really tiny, or I can make it big, or I can rotate it around, or I can put it kind of anywhere in this space that I want, which is fun. I've never felt more like Tom Cruise. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but this is all powered by Looker's API, which is really powerful, because this isn't just like, oh, hey, here's a CSV I loaded in, like, whatever. Um, this is backed by, like, the full power of LookML and Looker's API. So that gives us a lot of fun features, the, the most fun of which is drilling. So I can just drill into aquatics uh, by event. There's a lot of events in aquatics. And here's a new chart um, that shows all the aquatics events. Uh, and so that's, that's really cool. And so what the API lets you do is kind of access these, these features of LookML that, uh, that let you create a really free-form experience rather than sort of relying on, oh, I'm going to make you know, some endpoint that returns a, a SQL, SQL query or, or, like, just make something bespoke, you can just be like, okay, I want access to all the data, and you don't have to worry about that problem when you're building your application, which is really great. Um, so that let me focus on building, uh, kind of experimenting with what are the right ways to visualize data in virtual reality, which is sort of a crazy problem, but hey, well, let's, let's explore it, right? So why don't we take the, basically the silliest chart imaginable and make it even sillier. Uh, I'm, of course, talking about, say it with me, a word cloud. <laughs> so here I am <laughs> in a word cloud. I can, I can walk around this word cloud. I can, I can look, so these are all the, the baby names of people born in 2013. And the size of the word is, the, is how popular they are. The color is the gender balance. And so I can kind of you know, walk around this. I can make it really small if I want to make a really small word cloud and kind of kind of check it out like this or whatever. That's kind of fun. Um, but again, because this is powered by Looker's API, I can, I can drill. So I can just point at that and drill into another chart. There go all the words, bye. Um, and so here is the name Peyton uh, and kind of the history of that name. And so this is a virtual reality scatter plot, <laughs> which is dumb, but it's actually really... <laughs> Or so I thought, but this particular uh, data set is actually shows something really interesting that you can see with three uh, cardinal directions, right? Like three geometric dimensions, which is kind of hard to do on a flat screen. So this shows the year of names. This shows the percentage of uh, people with that name who are female. And this shows um, sort of how popular the name is. And you can see that uh, this name goes from 1900 to 1990. It's all, it's all male. 
right? And uh, right here in like, let's say, 83, 84, it sort of takes this left turn and more women start having that name. And the interesting thing that I learned while looking at all these 3D scatter plots, like a dummy, is, uh, is that there are like most names that are shared between men and women, they, they tend to have this hook like right around the late 80s. And it's really easy to see kind of pop, like how they get to a popular point and then go forward, which, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's another thing that is commonly visualized, which was, was worth exploring, and that's money. So what, what better way to talk about money than by having money <laughs> that you can look at. So this is sort of revenue by product category, and I can just sort of do weird <laughs> crap with it. Uh, but this is actual size. So like if, I, if, you, if you had a $100 bill right here, this is, this is $1.2 million right in front of me. <laughs> yeah. I want to reach out and touch it, but I'm not because I'm a pro. Um, so yeah, that, that's a fun one. And then another, another fun one is, is location data. So uh, somebody, uh, a colleague of mine, Alex, loves mountain biking, and he did this mountain bike ride in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And so we, we kind of imported that data from Strava, and I can, so I can make this map big. And you can see it has elevation, like top, uh, topographical information. And then it also has sort of the route he took. And what's kind of neat about it is that you can see color here is the grade, whether he's going up or down. The height off of the terrain is his speed. And so you can see kind of all of those things simultaneously. And because I have Looker API, like access to that, we can do stuff like use filters. Um, so I can switch to a different one, a ride that he took from the office. Uh, and that filter is coming from LookML. The, the values that are appropriate there are able to be suggested out of my database. And so I get all that power for free, basically, when, when using this API. All right, that is LookVR.